The top tonight, the Nueces County Sheriff's Office went before county commissioners today during the regularly scheduled session to talk about tightening ordinances regarding game rooms. That's right. County leaders say while the ordinances help set clear parameters regarding game room operations, there are still areas that they feel could use more attention. Our Josh Maxwell spoke with local law enforcement and county commissioners to see where those upgrades can be made. Josh. Rudy Leslie Lawman I spoke with say the proposed amendments to the ordinance can help tighter control on game room operations. He says bolstering those regulations can help corral crime before it happens. They're a new applicant. Uh, they can't operate until they get a permit. Chief Deputy David Cook with the Nueces County Sheriff's Office is referring to a potential gap in the county's game room ordinance. They were being slow about providing documents and things then it made it difficult, you know, they, they could just continue to operate and continue to make money and essentially operate without a permit. Cook says that while game rooms operating without a permit isn't as common as it used to be in Nueces County, he wants to make sure to keep it that way. People are going to be renewing their permits and we don't want them to spend six months in the process of renewing their permit. And I don't want that process to go longer than 90 days. Cook says keeping the ordinance as tight as possible helps in other areas, such as preventing illegal gambling. If they don't have a permit, we can shut them down immediately simply for not having a permit. But if they do have a permit, they make an illegal payout and we determine they're making illegal payouts, we can shut them down on the illegal gambling charge. The current game room ordinance is 25 pages long. As you can see with all the rules and regulations, there are still some areas that they want to tighten up on. The regulations are very uh, loose. Nueces County Precinct 3 Commissioner John Mata is also weighing in. He says that since game rooms are a community problem, they require community feedback. So my solution was to have a committee created uh, that represent, represent the four precincts in Nueces County to be able to have feedback. While no decision was officially made in Commissioner's Court Wednesday, Mattis says that they hope to reconvene on the issue. Oh, or unless it's ruled illegal, uh, we need good regulations to be able to guide potential business owners. Chief Deputy Cook tells me that since January of 2023, his department has seen 33 game room applications and only seven have been approved for permits. Rudy, Leslie.